Woman nearly dies after injecting fruit smoothie into her veins. Need I say more? Well, I'm gonna say more because otherwise it would be a very short video. Welcome back to How Not to Consume a Smoothie 101. I mean inform overload. Listen, I'm only joking around because the woman managed to live through this. If you're new here, I'm Charlotte Dobre and this is Inform Overload. We make the news more entertaining. Hit that like and subscribe and tell me down there in the comments what your favorite kind of smoothie is. 10 potato points if you said mango. And no, a potato smoothie is not a thing. That would be gross. A 51 year old woman called Zhang from the Hunan province in the south of China was a fan of unconventional health treatments. If you're into being healthy, you probably know that smoothies are a great way to boost your vitamin intake and your energy. But sticking a smoothie into an IV and then hooking yourself up to it? Yeah, that's uh, it's not something I would recommend. Or anyone sensible for that matter. I mean, you're literally mixing your blood with fruit. I can just picture your white blood cells being like, what the hell is that? Must attack! At first, when the woman hooked herself up to a fruit smoothie IV, nothing really happened, but not so long after, her arm started to swell and get itchy, and then she developed a fever. Zhang attempted to keep her illness a secret from her husband, probably because she was so embarrassed that she just injected herself with a smoothie. But after he saw how distressed she was, he convinced her to go to the emergency room. When she got to the hospital, the doctors were shocked. According to Dr. Liu Janzu, Zhang injected herself with more than 20 types of fruit. As a result, she developed an infection in her liver, her kidneys, and heart, and was at risk of multiple organ failure. Damn dude, that is uh, unfortunate. Who knew a smoothie could be so dangerous? Luckily, doctors took quick action and put Zhang on dialysis. They gave her antibiotics and anti-clotting medicine. She's now doing fine, but she had to spend five days in intensive care. Zhang told the Zhao Zhang Morning Herald, I had thought fresh fruits were very nutritious, and it would not do me harm by injecting them into my body. I had no idea that would get me into so much trouble. Zhang, you did an oopsie. What's next, people putting fruit smoothies up their butts? Don't get any ideas. Okay, so just so we're clear on why you shouldn't inject anything into your veins, when it comes to injecting yourself, you should always sterilize whatever you're injecting yourself with as well as the puncture site. Anything that isn't sterilized and you're sticking up your arm will likely give you a really bad infection because it's crawling with bacteria. Using the right type of needle is also very important. When we consume something like a smoothie through our mouths and then our stomach, our body has time to process it. But if you're putting a smoothie up your arm, the bacteria goes right into your bloodstream. For this reason, you should never inject anything into your body without help or guidance from a medical professional. Consuming smoothies, on the other hand, I would definitely recommend. If you're bad at remembering to eat your fruits and veggies, or if you don't like veggies in general, smoothies are a great way to make sure your body fills up on nutrients. Anyways, friends, that is all I have for you on this story. Tell me your thoughts down there in those comments. But for now, it's time for that moment you have all been waiting for. I quit. Just kidding. Comment time! These are from our video, vegan YouTuber Ravana caught eating fish and fans are not impressed. The mysterious squishy said, I'm so sorry I haven't been watching your videos for such a long time. Time to go on an IO binge. I missed you, mysterious squishy. I also missed reading your screen name. The mysterious squishy. So cute. Stick said, but I mean, it looks like you keep changing clothes each video, which means two things. Videos are made and then uploaded later, or two, you change your clothes and make it look like it's on a different day. The first option is definitely true. We film ahead, especially for the weekend, but I also have a couple of shirts here to change into in case I like drop food on my shirt at lunch and I have to get the stain out. <laughs> Mars said, hey, could you guys make a video about why YouTube is disabling comments from certain channels? I would love to, but there's not a whole lot we can cover in terms of that because it concerns minors. I've said before that we are pretty limited with the stories that we can cover right now. With that being said, if you have any story suggestions for IO, you should contact us through Instagram, and if we choose your story, you might just see it on this channel. Welcome to the end screen. This means the video is over. To keep watching IO, click this playlist. And this is your friendly reminder to hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell, and I will see you in the next IO video.